I was a gymnast before my injury. I was not a dancer. Um, I grew up in Kennewick, Washington, and I had a gymnastics accident uh, that was a result of defective uneven parallel bars that broke, and I ended up with a spinal cord injury, and here we are. I had a fabulous experience in Brazil dancing to uh, drums, and that's when it first started coming back, being able to move with my arms. I came home from that trip and started learning how to dance with my front end off the ground, and uh, I choreographed a piece uh, that was all about front end chair control, and then I met Joanne. So fluid instantly with Joanne. There was something about our connection with each other, the way it just flowed back and forth. We didn't have to do a lot of struggling mm -hmm. to find how does it work? How is it going to happen? We just... It was just there. Yeah. And um, I've always thought of it as a, as a gift. I was at school in Salt Lake City and there was someone there who was doing work with um, people who did use wheelchairs. It was very different than what Shar and I do. But that was kind of a, a planted a seed for me. So that what we're doing is honing that sensitivity that um, we work with so that I know pretty much what Shar's turning radius, how much space, and it's usually, when, when I get run over, it's usually my fault that I tested the limits. I just kind of said, you know what? I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna oh, see yeah. what happens. Stand-ups that don't have experience in an integrated st setting can be very nervous about dancing with someone in a wheelchair because they're afraid they're gonna get run over. And so you have to desensitize that fear. Dancing with Joanne is just so extraordinary. It brings such a richness to my life. And I lost a couple of years um, during the time period when I was having multiple surgeries. And uh, I really missed it. What we do is we present a tacit example of the equality in our movement, in the creation of our movement that I think the audience will take that leap to, to, because we will make it clear to them that it is co-choreographed, that we've created it together. And so there's that tacit sense of equality and the message of everybody has a dance in them. When I went to Brazil and I was with all these Brazilians playing drums, the more I got involved with the movement, you know, the bigger and stronger I felt. And, and it was at that moment at the top of this hillside um, with all these Brazilian drummers that, that that little light of dance came back and it added everything.